The new Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 boasts a premium design, health and fitness tracking capabilities, and even a touch of productivity features. Whether you're a health conscious individual or in need of a smartwatch that can easily double as a fashion accessory, the Galaxy Watch 3 seems like the perfect smartwatch to own right now. So is it good enough to justify its price? Let's take a closer look. Hi, I'm Rado with Phone Arena and this is our review of Samsung's newest smartwatch. The Galaxy Watch 3 comes in three colors, Mystic Black, Silver and Bronze, in two sizes, 41mm and 45 and in two variants, LTE and Wi-Fi only. With the LTE version, you can leave your phone at home and take calls directly from your smartwatch, although we have the 41mm Wi-Fi only variant here in Mystic Bronze. Its elegant and premium design is immediately apparent. The leather strap looks and feels nice and durable, much like the body of the watch, which itself is also surprisingly lightweight. According to Samsung, the Galaxy Watch 3 has military-grade durability and is IP68 water-resistant. Around the display we have a rotating bezel, arguably the most convenient way to interact with a smartwatch. It feels satisfyingly smooth and responsive to use. In addition, the smartwatch has two physical buttons on its right side, with the top one serving as a back button and the bottom one used for going back to the home screen. The colorful OLED display on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 sports impressive brightness, so interacting with it in sunlight should never be an issue. The Gorilla Glass that covers the screen is also noticeably fingerprint resistant, which is a welcome surprise. As for the display's sharpness, it is reasonably sharp, although you can see pixels if you look closely. For personalizing the smartwatch, Samsung says that over 50,000 watch faces are available for it, while 19 are installed out of the box. What's even cooler is that you can customize your watch faces via the Galaxy Wearable app on your phone and can add your own photos as wallpapers. Samsung also allows for customizing the watch hands, choosing primary watch face colors and choosing which widgets to appear on the watch face, such as heart rate, date and weather info. Despite the great number of customization options, the interface is simple and intuitive enough for anyone to be able to make their Galaxy Watch 3 unique for themselves. In the watch options menu is also a toggle for always on display which when enabled will keep your watch face visible at all times, at the expense of battery life. But even without it, the display turns on when you lift your wrist and take a look at it. The Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 runs on Samsung's Tizen operating system which was also used in previous smartwatches by the company. Tizen mostly provides a smooth and intuitive experience and only very rarely the watch will stutter a tiny bit but most times you won't even notice that. Pairing the Galaxy Watch 3 is possible with both Android smartphones and iPhones. On Samsung phones, the Galaxy Wearable app will launch in order to set up, configure and update the smartwatch. On iPhones, there's the alternative Samsung Galaxy Watch app which delivers a more limited set of abilities. When turning on the smartwatch, you're greeted with your watch face of choice. From here you can tap and hold it in order to change it, scroll left to see your notifications or scroll right to access your apps and widget screens. The rotating bezel can also immediately be used for accessing those screens. After you enable notifications for your smartphone's apps of choice, the Galaxy Watch 3 will use haptic feedback to inform you when new notifications arrive. The notification interface is quite rich in color and information. For example, during an Instagram conversation, it showed me the name and profile picture of the sender along with some previous messages, not just the latest one. You then have an option to respond directly from the smartwatch by choosing from a number of pre-written short answers such as nice, I agree, on my way or what's up. You can also reply with an emoji or write a response by drawing single letters on the screen, which works really well. A third and most convenient option to reply to a message is by using speech, which the Galaxy Watch 3 will translate into text. So overall, the level of interactivity with notifications on the Galaxy Watch 3 is more than satisfactory, and all of the reply options work surprisingly well. As previously mentioned, when you scroll to the right of your home screen, you will access all of your widgets that you have installed. The pre-installed ones include health, sleep and fitness tracking, weather information and music players. You can also add additional widgets such as an alarm, a calendar or list with upcoming events and appointments or a contacts list, reminders, food calorie tracking, heart rate monitoring and more. 
The widgets are all interactive and look great on the small screen. The Galaxy Watch 3 comes with workout tracking support for a wide range of activities. During workouts it will time you and show you information such as your heart rate and calories burned. You also have immediate access to a music player just in case you need an energy boost from your favorite songs. It's possible that all of the activities you'll ever need are supported on this smartwatch and for obscure ones there's the option for general activity tracking. Now let's focus on applications. Among the pre-installed apps are Bixby, Spotify, Samsung Pay and interestingly Microsoft Outlook. You can only reply to Outlook emails with predetermined short replies though and not the better options we have for notifications. The Galaxy Store is also available on the smartwatch, allowing users to find and install other fun and useful apps. Among the top downloaded ones are a calculator, a remote camera control app and a news app. In the Galaxy Store list of essential apps, there is also Samsung's internet browser which is oddly fun to use on a tiny screen. For the novelty, I tried and was able to play YouTube videos on it. It was also a good opportunity to check out the speaker on the Galaxy Watch 3. It is quite tinny, but it gets the job done. I tried the voice recorder app to also see how the microphone on the Galaxy Watch 3 performs. The resulting voice recordings were very clear, so it's not a stretch to assume that the LTE version of the smartwatch will do a great job for taking standalone phone calls. Another app that may prove useful, especially if you travel, is the Watch Translator, which will do just that help you communicate in other languages by translating speech on the fly. Samsung's email app, a Gear VR controller, an Uber app and more can also be downloaded directly on the Galaxy Watch 3. As for the battery life on the Galaxy Watch 3, it's decent but not impressive. Power users should expect about a day on a single charge, while light users may be able to squeeze two or three days. Charging the smartwatch is a satisfyingly simple and painless process though, it comes with a magnetic charger out of the box which simply snaps on the back of the Galaxy Watch. Charging up to 100% takes about 2 hours. The Galaxy Watch 3 is also Qi certified for wireless charging so you can easily charge it directly from your Galaxy S20 Plus for example by using PowerShare or with any compatible wireless chargers. You also get cutesy greetings from a smiley face when taking your smartwatch off the charger which adds a touch of character to the Galaxy Watch 3 and positive energy to your mornings. So this is the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3, quite an impressive and attractive smartwatch that can do a lot. For a more in-depth and detailed review, check out the link in the description below. What are your thoughts on the smartwatch? Do you think it's worth the asking price that ranges between $420 and $480 depending on size and connectivity? Let us know in the comments and if you are interested in keeping in touch with the latest tech feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'm Rado with Phone Arena. Thank you for watching.